Welcome back. Well, it's hard to believe that it's been two years that commencement ceremonies have taken place, but they're now back at CSUMB starting tomorrow. More than 2,000 students are going to be graduating this weekend from the university. KION's Anna Terea spoke with the graduates about how they're feeling in their big moment. It was a moment that some CSU Monterey Bay students felt would never happen. There was a very long time where I genuinely thought it wasn't going to happen. Because when you're in school and they tell you, oh yeah, there's a whole pandemic happening outside of your window, you cannot imagine what are the outcomes of this. You know, you cannot think about the tomorrow or the future because nothing is written yet. But that moment is finally here. So for this really big chapter in my life to finally be coming to a close, I'm having all sorts of emotions lately. In the first generation and like also being marginalized as a first low income student, it's for me, it's a big accomplishment. Ethan Coranta was involved in student life at CSU MB and as an environmental studies major, he also spent a lot of his college career at the Chapman building. On Wednesday, he wrapped up his last final. The faculty member that this final is for is the first faculty member I met before I was even enrolled as a student here. And now they're, they're the faculty member for the last final I'm working on and turning in. So it's just really special. Amaris Lopez came to the U.S. when she was 13 years old. And to her, graduation is a symbol of all the obstacles she's overcome. For me, getting my B.A. is more than just a piece of paper. It's a sign that I've been able to overcome many obstacles and that it's just the beginning of a new chapter in my life. It's what we do, right? So this is the moment for us to come out and have the crescendo for our annual practice of instruction, research, and the like, and really turn it out into a celebration of the entire campus. The university says it will be following COVID-19 guidelines and protocols, but the message for the class of 2022... Make sure to take care of yourself, because otherwise you're not going to bring your best self to your, to your work. Thank you and congratulations. And there's a big wild world out there and you should grab it. This is the end of a new chapter, but it's the beginning of another chapter. So congrats to all the graduate, graduate students for 2022 and keep fighting. In Seaside, <laughs> Anna Terea, KION News Channel 546.